Sri Guru Bionamaha. Welcome to our online teaching academy, Ekaleva, and I welcome you all for the biology class. This is class 12 biology. We are in the part 2 of microbes importance. Already in part 1, we are completed about the importance of microbes. Uh, for example, in sewage treatment plant and biogas. Now, the same our little friend, how it is going to help in agriculture industry. Okay, that we are going to see. So, microbes as biocontrol agent. It is going to control, actually it is a biological organism, the same organism going to control the other organism, okay, who, what we call it as pest, the pest which is causing a big mess for the farmers, right. So how we are going to use this for that treatment? What is biocontrol first of all? Biocontrol refers to the use of, yeah, welcome back. It controls to the refers to the use of biological method for controlling the plant diseases and pest. Actually, we are using insecticide and pesticide. Okay, it is causing a big hazard. Nowadays, we are in now we are nearing biomagnification. Hope you all read by about biomagnification in 10th standard. Accumulation of the chemical from one trophic level to the other trophic level, and we are in the top carnivores or in the topest place in the trophic level. So, we are getting more hazardous things, right? So, to avoid this, we are using the organism itself into the control, pest control, okay? So, to avoid the toxic material, we will read this. The insecticides and pesticides, although useful, are toxic and extremely harmful. We are talking about the insecticide and pesticide. To human as well as other animal, it also pollute our environment. Agriculture relies on natural control of pest, okay, natural predation. Actually, we want to understand the life cycle, life cycle of the different organisms and we should not kill unnecessarily the other organism. We have to pave way for the predators also. So, we should know what is pest, what are predators, their role, okay, who will be the pest and who will be the predator. So, to understand that, okay, farmers, they went into search of these things, right. And then scientists, they went in search of the other biocontrol agents also. So, we will see what are the biocontrol agents here. Biological forming. Some approaches for biological forming. Okay, life forms inhabiting the field. We have to be familiar in that. Understanding their life cycle patterns, feeding, okay, and then habitat of the predators and pests. We have to keep in mind all these things. Then we can prefer the biocontrol agent. Example for biocontrol agents are ladybird beetle, dragonflies, okay, what they get rid of aphids, okay, and mosquitoes, okay, respectively. You can see the picture here. The fungus, this is another important one mark question, trichoderma, is used in the treatment of plant disease. It's a free living fungi, okay, used in the ecosystem. It's another one mark Okay, there are fungi which has association like symbiotic association. You would have read about lichen, mycorrhiza. It is a free living fungi. Okay. Next, maculovirus or pathogen that attack insects and arthropods. Arthropods, you know the life cycle of arthropods. One stage is the caterpillar stage. So, it will kill that also, baculovirus. Majority of bacula, you can see the baculovirus here used as a control agent. Which genus they belong to? It is another one mark question. Nucleopolyhedrovirus. It belongs to the genus Nucleopolyhedrovirus. This baculovirus. These are the species specific narrow spectrum insecticide. So, to the particular species we can use as a pest control. They do not harm the other plants, okay, which they are not preferring. And it is species specific as usual. It is a narrow spectrum. Baculovirus was uh, beneficial integrated pest management. Okay. So, this is another abbreviated term for one mark question. What is IPM? Integrated pest management. Next, BT cotton. Already we would have discussed in uh, biotechnology lesson. BT cotton. BT, bacillus thuringiensis. It is a bacteria. That bacteria we are using in the cotton field to reduce the ballworm disease, etc. So, how are we using this BT cotton? This bacillus thuringiensis. We are using it 
by our DNA technology through genetic engineering method and then like uh, fumes we are going to use that and that bacteria okay will infect this but actually it is not infecting it will manifest there okay it will leave there and when the caterpillar or any stage of the arthropod if come and they are going to consume this that time the bacteria will enter into the gut gut of the insect and it causes pores in the insect and this because of this it leads into death of the insect so this is a mode of infection okay infection of the organism which organism bacillus thuringiensis actually it is not infecting it is entering the plant we are using it as a tool and controlling the pest so which is the pest here the pest will be the caterpillar or any of the life cycle any of the organisms from the arthropods we can say so bacillus thuringiensis control butterfly caterpillar specifically okay dried spores of bt bt is nothing but bacillus thuringiensis mixed with water and we are using it the plant i told you about cotton plant it's nothing but brassica and some fruit trees okay it enters the gut of the larvae and it kills other insects um, unharmed okay which is important for the plant like that you can see the technique genetic engineering technique otherwise the r dna technology microbes as bio fertilizer actually only two part we are seeing one about the bio control and here bio fertilizers fertilizers what it is so it needs some nutrient apart from the nutrient provided by the soil the important nutrients okay we call that as npk so what is npk nitrogen phosphorus and potassium these are the primary nutrients very much important for the growth of the plants so how are we going to provide this npk to the field okay to the agriculture industry via the microbes okay so that's why we call this as bio fertilizers and the previous thing we saw about bio control we are controlling the pest by our little friend microbes here we are going to provide the plants with nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which you call it as primary nutrients so microbes as bio fertilizer enrich the nutrient specifically here what we are going to see about nitrogen and phosphorus the main source for the bio fertilizer bacteria fungi and cyanobacteria these three things role we are going to see so first bacteria acting as a bio fertilizer the nodules okay i think you can think about the 7th standard or 8th standard lesson okay something we read about nitrogen fixing bacteria free living bacteria so the name itself says n2 nitrogen fixing bacteria it's going to fix the nitrogen and it is not a free living bacteria it is seen in the leguminous plant and the name rhizobium okay we'll see that so the nodules on the bacteria if this is the plant okay plant root will take it if this is the plant okay in the root in the root there will be a nodules like this okay it's nothing but the rhizobium okay it fixes the atmospheric nitrogen into organic forms and that is used as a, a nutrient so here bacteria we are talking about the nitrogen other bacteria azospirulum acetobacter they are free living it's very important one mark question i told you about the two bacteria okay here nitrogen fixing bacteria one is free living another one which is what fixed in the root nodules okay which is not free living so the free living example azospirulum acetobacter okay another one which is not free living acting as a parasite like that you can say so it is nothing but rhizobium fungi as bio fertilizers next so which fungi that is the association mycorrhiza here it's a symbiotic association with the plant plant with the fungus the fungal symbiont absorbs phosphorus in the previous thing we saw nitrogen and here it is going to fix the phosphorus from the soil and which genus they belong to this fungus genus glomus okay that forms the mycorrhiza so imagine if this is the tree okay in the root you can see 
a thread like structure a thread like structure okay and this association you call it as mycorrhiza and which genus they belong to glomus mycorrhiza shows the following benefit it's a two mark question a resistant to the root borne pathogens tolerance to the salinity and then it increase the plant growth and development you can see the terms resistance tolerance and growth and development cyanobacteria the last part it is an autotrophic bacteria it's an autotrophic microbes okay many of them fix again atmospheric nitrogen here cyanobacteria example for cyanobacteria this is an anaerobic bacteria that you need to keep in mind it's again important one mark question anabena nostoc acylatoria this is otherwise called blue green algae also will come under this only okay a number of biofertilizers are available commercially in the market and we can use such things now okay to receive our online lesson please press the subscribe button and you'll receive the latest updates thank you